Hey guys, Nick Carlson with Doss Manufacturing, home of the Mulchmate DMT Trailer Combo. Yes, this is our massive, massive dump trailer. A lot of guys, I mean, when I say a lot, I mean a lot across the country, coast to coast, are saying, man, does Mulchmate fit on a dump trailer? The facts are, you add a bunch of weight to the back of a trailer, you're gonna put yourself in a very dangerous situation. So what I wanted to do was create a trailer that actually solved the issue. Took a standard stock DS1000 Mulchmate, comp, uh, Mulchmate machine, and I wanted to make a trailer that was absolutely perfect and it would improve your business and allow you to get more jobs done quicker with less people and less headaches. And so here we are at GIE 2021, and this unit has been a huge, huge hit. And yes, it is a huge trailer. So, I want to kind of go over a few features with you, okay? Real simple specs. This unit is a 12-foot body, three and a half foot tall walls. The floor is a 10-gauge thick material, and the walls are a 12-gauge thick material. This thing is an absolute tank. We actually have a UHMW plastic floor liner in this to A, cut adhesion for the tarping system, as well as protect your investment. As you throw stones in there, we don't want it banging on all that metal. We want this thing to last a lifetime this thing's gonna do it, okay? This is not meant to be the cheapest trailer on the market. It is meant to be the best trailer on the market, okay? So, let's start going over some of the features here. You can get this right here. This is a standard equipment options, or not options, standard equipment list that comes on this trailer. This trailer is outfitted with probably 60% of our options. So this is an, a premium, premium trailer, okay? So, start with some of the basics. I uh, already went over the 12-foot box. Whenever the, this is a, it has 14,000 pound axles, two 7,000 pound axles. So really good stuff. E-rated tires. Uh, you can have a pencil or you can have a two and five sixteenths adjustable ball. Um, you've got a 52 inch. It's very specific. I asked for a 52 inch side door when we started designing this because I want to be able to put a pallet of whatever you want in this thing at any time. And I don't want it to be super tight. I want your guys to be able to put that stuff in there. And the reason we did that is the mulch mate has a dual pivot hinge system on it. So you can, unload all the mulch faster, you can then fill it up with debris, and then you can dump that unit really quickly, and then you can stop by on your way back to the shop in the afternoon, grab that pallet of sod, grab that pallet of stone for the next day, and be way, way more efficient. Less windshield time. Okay guys, so while I'm standing right here, I want to talk to you about our uh, platform here on the front. This unit was developed to keep mowers, wheelbarrows, live goods, whatever you want, but the great thing is it has a dovetail system. This gate is a bifold gate, drops down on the ground. As you can see on right here, we have a 61 inch ZK right mower. This is actually my personal wow. mower. I absolutely love it. And it fits on this thing with no problem whatsoever. The balance of this unit is amazing, right? So the reason the balance is amazing is that we sat down, did the numbers, engineered this trailer properly. So you can have weight on the front, you can have the weight of the mulch main on the back and load, and it can be live and it's gonna be amazing. Uh, another great feature that a lot of guys look over is this utility box. Now it's no different, right? It holds all the hydraulics. As a matter of fact, I'll give you a little peek inside here. Real nice cover over the battery and hydros. You have all your adjustable valving in here and we'll go over all that here in a little bit. Really nice box. It's really a standard shape and size, but the trick was I wanted it recessed so it didn't get damaged. I've had plenty of dump trailers in the past. You jackknife it, you bend this box all up and that's just not fun, right? So you see it's recessed down inside of these 10 inch humongous I-beams. Okay, and how we did that was we actually moved the joint forward one foot and we're able to clear this box so it's recessed in there. I know that seems kind of silly, but it's really important that you understand that the details have been thought through on this unit. It is an absolute monster. Now, one of the options, okay, as we look at this trailer, you're gonna see all these little signs. Anytime you see a sign like this, it is an option. It's an a la carte option that you can order with your DMT mulch mate combo. This is a 12,000 pound hydraulic jack. It is probably my favorite option on this unit because you can get this unit on and off your truck in under 15 seconds with a press of a button. It is, well, it's amazing. <laughs> Let me just say that. Anybody that doesn't get it, I'm sorry. I, I think this is probably the best thing you should ever, ever get, okay? So, now that we're up here in the front, we'll talk a little bit about the hitch. It is adjustable. It's on a massive three quarter inch steel plate here. It is adjustable vertically. You can see the holes underneath these tags. And yes, this trailer was sold months before the show, okay? So while we're over here, we're gonna swing around here to the other side of the platform. Now, I know attention to detail is, is a little crazy, but we're doing it. This platform, if you ever encounter a situation where you have a piece of equipment you wanna put on here, or live goods or whatever, and you want a little bit more space, right? I don't wanna limit you. This bar actually tilts out 
to the legal limit of 102 inches. So you just pop this arm off, drop it out, pop it in, and now you just gained, I don't know, six or seven inches. Goes from here to here, okay? So that's a really nice deal. And as you can see on this platform, we have massive grading down here. It's not just expanded metal. I mean, I've seen this stuff in parking garages. It is absolutely a tank. Now, one last thing about this platform that I really want to point out and be very specific on, we use two inch square tubing. This allows you to have uh, string trimmer racks, blower racks, fuel can racks, whatever kind of rack system you want. You can attach it on the front or the back. You can put it on this side here and we'll handle it, but if you ever tilt it, it will be on an angle and you have to be careful with all that, okay? So, let's step down here. This trailer also has a safety cone holder. I know that's not a big deal, but it is an option. You can get it and uh, it just automates your business and allows you to have a place for everything. Having a home for everything is very, very critical. This chain here, we'll get to this in a second. So if you're wondering. Now, as you see over here, look at the gap between the top of the tire and the fender. That is massive. That is our lift, hydraulic lift kit system that is built into the trailer that use the hydro pumps that are already in the trailer. Okay, so what this is for, a lot of guys wanna fill really tall wheelbarrows or top dressers, right? And so you get in, you press the button, lifts it up and now you have all the clearance you need for your mulch mate to fill it up and let's say if the top dress you can fill it up in maybe eight or nine seconds no shoveling no wearing your guys out okay now uh, let's see here we can also do a extra side door here a lot of guys get that option that's what the sign is here kind of go over some of these options this is the Timrin rubber helper spring I don't know if you've ever heard Timrin's I'm a big fan because there's nothing really for it to fail. It's a rubber cushion spring that goes between the frame and the axle and gives you a little bit more capacity. So say the 7,000 pound axle, you want a little bit more, but you don't want to mess with the GVW and all the numbers, add this in there. Gives you that bigger safety buffer that you may or may not want. But I love this option. We actually came up with it and it was really, really good. Now, if you do want bigger axles, we can get you, as you can see from the sign down here, 16,000 pound axles and 20,000 pound. Well, they're 8,000 each and 10,000 each. Okay, really, really, really good stuff. All right, now, while we're over here, you see the, the LED light kit, you see it's all lit up here. Okay, I know it's gonna mess, mess up the video, but very bright LED lights he's been on all week and uh, it hasn't drained the battery yet, and that is bright. Um, the reason that is an option on your trailer, I, when I was running my landscape is in the fall and in the spring, when the sun goes down really early, my guys would try to get a job done and they just couldn't get it done, right? Well, this is gonna allow you to be shine light right down on your job, it's gonna help you finish up those jobs, less drive time, less coming back, customers happier, and for as cheap as these are, it's well, well worth the money, okay? Also, you can see a sign up here, it's rear barn doors. You can have rear barn doors added to your unit, so if you ever decide to pull your mulch mate off, you can also add those rear barn doors, okay? So while we're here, this is my favorite part of the mulch mate. This is our dual pivot hinge. She is an absolute monster. This allows your machine to swing open 270 degrees and latch that chain system I was just telling you about a second ago. This is what hooks right to the edge of the mulch mate chute, okay? And what that allows you to do is you can then dump this trailer just like you always have. I love that option. It's not an option, it's standard with the mulch mate. Okay, now I will talk about an option right now because it's all up in your face. This is our optional wheelbarrow rack that mounts right to the existing holes on your mulch mate. Why is this important? Well, think about it. Most wheelbarrows are either gonna go up in the bed of the truck on top of the mulch or dirt, rock, sand, whatever, hard to get up there, or on the roof protector on top of the cab of the truck. That means you have to put the wheelbarrow off the bed, then you have to get it up on the roof, and it's climbing, and it's strapping, and it's just a nightmare. Now, with this trailer typically down, we have it up for show reasons. It's much lower. You simply slide this wheelbarrow in. You've got these uprights that temporarily hold it in place, and then you have your ratchet strap system that comes to your kit, holds on, it's safe, it's easy, and your people keep your feet on the ground, reduces, reduces injuries, reduces liability, and really boosts morale because the guys don't have to work nearly as hard to do a job that's already hard enough. All right, now while we're here too, just want to remind everybody, the MulchMate has an integrated backup camera system. Yes, it does work in our DMT MulchMate combo. It is amazing, you just simply plug it in once you have your harness in your truck. You have a clip-on mirror and monitor that goes right over the rear of your mirror in your truck. Really nice option. 180 degree view. It's got the green, yellow, and red lines in it, so it'll help you back up at night. Now, while I'm speaking, or at night, day, whatever. Now, while I'm speaking of backup systems, if you look under here, you have the flush mount LED light kit. This is, is an option on the DMT combo. These lights, when you pop that truck in reverse, it is going to flood light. 
all over the place behind this trailer. So you want to protect your investment? Those lights are amazing. And it's going to take that risk and liability from your guys. Hopefully they don't do something silly, but at least you know you gave them everything they could do to back this thing up properly. Okay, you have a place to put your tag. Keep you within DOT. Up here also, you have your tool basket. This allows you to hold string trimmers, blowers, rakes, shovels, whatever you need to hold. And the beautiful thing about this that everyone seems to overlook is you can keep those tools in there, lock them up, and there's no loading and unloading every single day for getting to, you know, you get to a job, you're like, oh man, I forgot my pitchfork or my shovel or my truck, whatever. You're not gonna do that anymore. It's gonna stay here, your guy's gonna be happier, you're gonna be happier, and you're gonna make a lot more money in a lot less time. Okay, so of course the rest of the mulch main, it works just like every other mulch main because it is the same thing. Everybody thinks it's different, it's not. It's electric, it's fast, there's no maintenance. All you have to do is clean the unit and it's absolutely beautiful. While we're here too, we also have the extension conveyor we just released. This unit is absolutely awesome. Typically not meant for the trailers, it can be. Uh, if you don't want the lift kit, this is more for trucks that need to lift a little higher or reach straight out. This unit does go level and you can reach out into those beds, drive right along them. We have the remote kit that comes with it so you can do this all from within your truck, okay? The, also the unit, when you bring this down to level, you actually store this unit all the way down this rail system here and it locks in this 5 8 inch hole, okay? Why is that important? Well, this is an industry first that I know of. The unit actually stores all the way in equal right in the center of this uh, mulch main and stops right about here. Why is that important? Well, this section here is now available to run the unit like you always have. It doesn't block you up. You don't have to use this every time, but this gives you a place to store it so two guys don't have to remove it and place it somewhere and it just wastes time it hurts backs and it's going to be a lot more efficient this is a one man operation unit we worked very hard to achieve this this thing is an absolute beast as you can see over here as well we have the cleats on the belt so as rock or something that can roll back down is not these, these paddles are massive i think they're three quarter inch thick and a half inch tall it is an absolute beast it uses the same motor system as the mulch mate uh, but the difference is the roller on the drive roller is much larger, which means you get 100 RPM more. So as that material comes out of the machine, it hits that conveyor and shoots way up really fast. And it can go north, it can go out four foot, it can go out two foot. It's absolutely amazing, amazing, amazing unit. Okay, guys, so uh, while we're over here as well, I'm going to show you the side door. 52 inches. You can see inside, we've got the plastic UHMW floor liner. Right here, this stuff is absolutely beautiful. Really hard to get in 2021, but it is what it is. And also while you're here, you can see the auger set up and as well as the tarp in the mulch made is all wrapped up. That tarp you would pull out into the bed of your truck or trailer, just like this. And again, it's a DS-1000. There's no difference in any of them. They're all the same. That's what you put your material on top of. As soon as you press the button, it pulls it into the mulch mate. The augers, if it's mulch, will fluff it up. If it's rock, it passes right underneath. Fills your wheelbarrow in less than three seconds and your guys are a lot happier. Matter of fact, people that came in yesterday bought a mulch mate. Owner comes by with his guys a few hours later, announces to his guys that I actually bought, not me, the owner, bought a mulch mate and I watched his guys break down into tears. That's how much that unit meant to them. Absolutely amazing. Okay, we also offer the spare tire here, full size, mounts right to the side of the trailer. A lot of guys say, why do you put them on the outside? Well, I've seen a lot of trailers put it underneath. Well, think about it. You put it underneath on the bottom of the bed you're gonna to have to pick that thing up and hold it and put the bolts on. Miserable, miserable. Plus, I don't want people underneath this trailer doing anything because I don't want anything to happen to your guys and have a safety issue. Another thing that guys bring up too is a tray underneath this trailer. We personally don't wanna put a human being between a bed up in the air and a frame. We don't feel that safe. We don't wanna put you in that spot. So we do not include that. I just wanna kinda of make that clear, okay? Uh, oh, also with this door. Drop down ladder, put it away, pull it out, real, real nice, heavy, heavy duty, okay, and we also include a handle up here, so you always have three points of contact, and it's as safe as we can possibly make it, and as easy, so your guys aren't trying to climb up the tires and get in this unit. All right, guys, if you have any questions about the Multimate DMT combo, reach out to us at Multimate USA, set an inquiry, we can go over a whole options list over every build, every way this can fit into your business and absolutely dominate your market. Guys, I'm Nick Carlson with Dawson Manufacturing. Visit us at Ultimate USA and have a great, great day.